Welcome back to another voice play song, Grim Grinning Ghosts Voice Play Acapella. I saw the thumbnail for it. It looks like it's those statues that you saw in the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland. Um, I used to love Disneyland. Did you guys, if you guys ever had a chance to go to Disney World or Disneyland, it's kind of a fun place, but... I'm a little nervous for this reaction, I must admit, because I promised that I'd bring a guest speaker to the song today, and that is our little Nitro guy. He's a little harmless little little gummy bear. What what could what could be harmful? What could hurt? What could what could what could be uh, you know, it, it can't be that big of a deal. I know it is. I'm that's why I'm nervous. So now We're not going to need him. So we're going to go ahead and shout this guy down. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and start voice play acapella as a reaction as uh, as I deal with a little, little uh, gummy friend here. All right. So let's uh, get this open. Oof, I almost dropped him. There's the little devil. My heart's actually beating fast right now. I ain't going to lie. But, you know, so, all right, so we're going to begin. Voice play, acapella, grim, grinning, ghosts. I'll just get this down first. It's not polite to, it's not polite to talk and chew at the same time. <sighs> Yummy. <clears throat> Just like the, it just looks like the statues in Disneyland in that in that haunted mansion. I'm just trying to ignore the heat. I'm just trying to act like nothing's happening, but yeah, I'm in pain. Over the river's creek and the tombstones quake. Spooks come out for a swinging way. Happy homes materialize and begin to vocalize. Grim grinning goes. I was I was expecting that we're gonna get at least a flavor of Jeff's like real bass tones here because i was hoping that we get something my glasses are fogging up <laughs> i was hoping we get like a nice highlight of his bass tones because it's like a halloween kind of song so i'm just kind of curious to see if this is going to kind of develop in that way Come out to socialize. when the moon climbs high on the dead oak tree spooks away for the midnight spree creepy creeps with Start to shriek and <laughs> you can see my glasses are fogging up. <laughs> They're fogging up right now because I'm I'm burning up. Dude, that's a, a cool little like vocal that he did there like a little hiccup kind of thing going <laughs> whatever it was again it's 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 all for play this whole thing with the you know the statues and everything they're a very playful group you can totally tell but let me just back up a bit try to hide or a silly spook makes it by your side shrouded in To socialize. <laughs> well, the ghouls begin to shed their skin and the demons shake their balls. The veggies sail into the night and sing the rifle. Look, look, top notch visuals. Come on, you got to give it up for that. I mean, and the guy there on the very second from the left and the bottom with a bald head. He's got all of his antics going on as he's kind of doing his 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 song in the background. So watching each of these, this is going to take more than one playback for me to kind of enjoy what's happening with these guys. 
And you guys, I know you're probably wondering, why am I not reacting? And I do have a confession. It was a Nitro guy. It is incredibly hot. Um, there is a video on this channel of Michael and I having the one, one chip challenge with each other. He completely dies on the video. But I am a chili head. I eat hot sauces that have the hottest peppers in the world, the Carolina Reaper, Pepper X. I'm very accustomed to this kind of heat. So I wasn't, I was kind of nervous because the Scoville unit count on a Carolina Reaper is about 2 million Scovilles. And that's about the limit of how much I can enjoy without dying. And this is touting, I think, 9 million Scoville units. And it's definitely 9. I can tell um, it's hot. But it's not, um, for me, like, I would definitely, like, I can tell this is not something that you would just idly go out and just get and just eat just for fun, unless you're prepared to be able to handle the heat on something like this. And so this, for me, is not that bad. I mean, it's, I can tell it's bad, but for me, it's, I'm, I'm fine with it. I don't need the milk at all. So anyways, sorry, I digress. Let's continue on. Awesome! Awesome! There it is! Please move to the dead center of the room. Oh, when you hear the knell of a that is awesome. The dead center of the room. You guys have to go, if you haven't been to Disneyland, if you haven't just made the trek, you've got to go online to see the actual Haunted Mansion ride, what he's talking about, because you enter into this one room where the, the paintings start to grow in length and it reveals a more sinister portrait on each of the walls surrounding the, the octagon room and so they're just like this is all like this is just a total a total nod to the haunted mansion obviously it's very good and of course the bass i just love the bass <laughs> please move to the dead center of the room remember that Restless bones and fury lies. Rises, spooks of every surprise. Grim grinning ghosts, grim grinning ghosts, come out to socialize. It's awesome. Again, how do they do that vocally? How do they do that vocally? Unless they're 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 doing something in post that is kind of highlighting that weird kind of vocal that you got there, but it's just interesting. Well, the crypt doors creak and the tombstones quake. Grim grinning ghosts come out to socialize. Nice. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> We'd love it if you left a comment down below. And <laughs> He can't gesture with his hands. He gestures with his tongue. <laughs> oh, gosh, that's funny. Hang on. Watching. We'd love it if you left a comment down below. <laughs> and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Hurry back. See you real soon. Dude, that was good. Pretend to terrorize. Grim grin and ghosts come out to socialize. All right. That just made me more nostalgic and kind of sad in a way because I really miss some of the Disneyland back back in the day. You know, I haven't been back since they've had Star Wars Land put in. Um, that's the last that I've been there. It's probably when the kids were like four or five. That's 20 years ago. So, but anyways, it's kind of a nice little stroll down memory lane. And I'm sorry if you guys were expecting more, more uh, reaction. I didn't know what to expect on this. I really honestly didn't. Um, I kind of felt that when I first chewed it, I thought, oh, no, what have I done? But then as I started chewing it up, I go, oh, okay, this is very familiar to me. 
This is just kind of very familiar. So this one's just kind of like scale of one to 10 for me, eight. I'll give it an eight. It's, I'd like to, I'll be drinking that milk in a minute and I'm gonna go ahead and cool down a minute. But I'm sorry, I know you're probably expecting me to weep and cry and melt and that kind of stuff, which I was expected to do myself, but I'm fine. It's, it's fine. <laughs> Anyways, you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me. Be safe tonight, all you kittens out there. You know, uh, little goblins and angels and princesses and all that goes along with it. Be safe and have a good time. See you next time. Take care.